All right, into the, uh, Quadrant, the forgotten Eastern mission. Position. They'll guide you to the tanker for air refueling. Good work, people. We're one step away from the enemy's capital. Yeah, we can control this as long as straight. Us. I can feel it. of it. Good lord, that's annoying. I'll only concentrate on the oh, enemies directly in our path. Swing in. What are Belgian pilots doing here? Our limit engagements to a minimum. And go. Good air speed. Enemies on the Belka, be gone. The only thing we can do now is escape as quickly as possible. Yep. Trussel 10 box 2. Belka's behind all this. The country that was defeated 15 years ago. Hey, wait a minute, what are you doing? He broke off. Oh, no. Pussy. oh crap, we didn't up there. Mountain! Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Zoom. Let's hurry back home. Oof, that was, that was interesting. Of course, we can tell it's about.
Would it surprise you if I said that President Harling is nowhere to be found within the capital? Not really. The hardline war Osea is waging right now hardly resembles the peace policy the President was promoting. Let me guess. He disappeared just before we invaded Yuktabania, right? Exactly. My journalist friends told me that nobody's seen him enter or leave the office since. All of his decisions are communicated through the Vice President. And it gets better. A lot of the military officers that resigned over disagreement with the President's arms reduction plan have started to return to the capital. I found out something myself. That Belkin Aggressor Force I was telling you about. Apparently they're called the 8492nd Squadron. Also, and here's the kicker, Captain Hamilton, the adjutant base commander here, used to be assigned to the 8492nd. What? Oh, they're back. There's no point in talking to that blockhead commander. He treated our president like an idiot just because he wanted peace. What about his adjutant, Captain Hamilton? Roger that. The captain and I will go see him. Grim, you go let Jeanette and Pops know. Right. Be careful. What? Nagase and the captain went to see Hamilton? What is it? Did I do something wrong? Let's hurry. You got it. We don't have time to warn the captain and Nagase. We'll have to talk to the base commander ourselves. Coming, second lieutenant. I was just thinking about calling you over. Me? Special Forces Second Lieutenant Peter and Beagle. Or I guess you prefer Pops. Fifteen years ago, you and Bartlett were shot down over enemy terrain. Bartlett's squadron HQ was destroyed. And all of its data was fried by Belka's magnetic pulse weaponry. When you made it back to the Allied front lines, it was Bartlett's word that convinced them that you were his squadron leader. Is that really true? Bartlett turned out to be a spy. So, who are you really? Can't prove anything about your military record. 
Okay. Hamilton's got the base commander deceived, too. I punched that guy's lights out. That bastard was wearing a Major's insignia on his shoulder. I don't know who it is, but someone's trying to widen the rift between the two countries and keep this war going. If O.C. continues to win, then the war will be over. And they're after us to prevent that? You're kidding! You people are the pillar of morale for the entire Ocean army now. And now you know something you were better off not knowing. The President's disappearance. Listen, Pops, who exactly are you? It's no good! They seized our planes in the hangars! Hangar C in the rear probably isn't so heavily guarded. Yeah! But... over there, there's nothing but... We'll escape with my training jets. Good thing I maintain all my planes well, eh? Let's try it. Jeanette, you take the seat behind me. Good lord. Please don't get to save. Once I get to a scene where I can pause it, I'll end it. This is the E-492nd Squadron. We have a visual on the enemy. Engaging. Pausing. Alright, that's it for right now. I'm gonna go to bed. I'm tired. I, have no, I really can't stand this one's stress level. It's so annoying. Especially since Pops is a glitching pilot. Bye.